On this movie, Spider-Man basically has become a virtuoso of all his skills. And instead of just swinging through the city, we came up with this interesting notion that Peter Parker now likes to have fun with flying through the city. And we say flying because literally, he's become kind of a daredevil. He swings as high as he can go, and he falls as close to the ground as possible before he decides to shoot his web. So we open the movie with him basically just free falling through the sky. So he's basically swung a hundred stories in there and just drops to the ground. And it gives a different dynamic and, and allows us different moments where we just allow him to fall. Um, and we allow our camera work to basically follow him. And we even have a shot basically as if he strapped a GoPro to his chest. And what would that look like? So we had a lot of fun and just basically coming up with ways of him to interact with the city, interact with props like water towers and structures and use that to help his swinging. And Dave Schaub and his animation team did a great job of just really, really making sure that it was fun, but still had enough gravity and physics to make it feel believable. I think New York City, it's a character itself. Because New York City with those buildings, I'm in Soho and in Harlem and all these places, and every place looks like a movie set. The great thing about New York, there's endless of interesting buildings, uh, historical buildings, avenues. It's a very vibrant place. It's really great shooting in New York, especially when you're out in the streets. It's, people come from far and wide to see Spider-Man being shot because it is such a New York story and, and such a big production. Ah, it's a real spider. Look, New York! Spider-Man is back! Andrew's been like going in his Spider-Man costume to parts of town where he can go and join you in on a basketball game. New Yorkers respond to Spider-Man with such love and joy, and so it feels it feels right to be here. One, action! One of the, our efforts in this movie was to have fun with the action. Not only with action, we wanted there, there to be a playful sensibility about the entire film. And, and the truck chase was something that felt like it was coming from the comics, but it also felt like an opportunity for Spider-Man to just be awesome at being Spider-Man and have a blast doing it. As soon as the suit comes on, it's just pleasure, you know? And I like the idea of when we see Peter at the beginning as Spider-Man, we see ease where there's a playfulness. It's not just kind of this economical, utilitarian, I'll do this and I'll do that, then I'll do that, and then I'll save the day. It's like, I'm gonna save the day, but on the way I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna give you a smile and I'm gonna mess with you and I'm gonna enjoy myself here and that swing is gonna feel really good. I'm gonna stretch my shoulder. There's a certain selfish enjoyment. We have this opening car chase in the movie uh, where Spider-Man swings into a massive chase in progress. We wanted it to feel like it was really happening. And so we actually, we went, we went to Rochester and doubled Rochester for Manhattan because in Manhattan, you practically, you can't drive faster than 30 miles an hour. The truck chase, which is a sort of action sequence that's um, almost, you know, 70s, 80s in style. It's very, very big and real, resorts to very little CG. So it starts the movie off with a, with a bang and makes it feel more like a modern classic action movie, like a Bond or a Bourne or something, rather than a, traditionally the way Spider-Man has been. From Mark's vision to the production design to Andrew and Emma's relationship, in every way, the final product, the movie, exceeded our expectations. Suddenly we have on this one a script that is so huge, entertaining, funny, dramatic, outrageous, subtle. I'm Electro. I like to see characters crack open, both in terms of joy and in terms of sorrow. I want to test the emotional capacity of my actors and of my characters, and I think this movie does that. Uh, that's what I find interesting, that's what I find engaging uh, as an audience member and as a director. <laughs> Já disponível no Mel Video Clube.